What's good, fam? So, one thing I realized is that I have been talking about merging the two-part BBKOF strategy and the two-part strategy. Well, let me go ahead and get to it and show you how to set it up. I just uploaded a video not too long ago. I mean, it includes both. Feel free to tailor as you please. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and start to show you what I have set on my chart. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add it. For some reason, it keeps going away. But I do use the Bollinger Bands, and I'll get to the settings in a moment. The Bollinger Bands, let me get my brush, which is here. I use uh, the 5 EMA, right there, the orange line. The 15 EMA, I think that's the blue line. And then the 15 um, the 15 SMA, which is the simple moving average. I believe that is the reddish orange looking color. I also have um, the 50 moving average on here, and I have the 125. And typically, people have the 200. I chose the 125 because it just made sense for how I trade this strategy to kind of show me short time, short term. Um, short term, long term trend, right? It's really supposed to be for the long term trend when you set the 200. Um, however, I'm a scalper, so I say short term, long term trend because it's kind of showing me short term where to go and at the same time giving me an idea of where it's headed long term as well um, for my purposes of what I need. And then at the bottom window down here, I'm not even going to try to remember everything that I have down here. Uh, I know I have the 14 RSI set. I have a 200 EMA, I believe. And then some other EMAs. I have a stochastic. I have the ATR. And uh, what else do I have on here? I guess we'll check that out in a second. And then I have a bunch of levels set. And one important one is that 53. Okay. So let's move on and actually see the setup. On the top of the main chart, I have a five. That is the setting. Feel free to screenshot, stop the video, just to take a look at that and get yourself right. 15 EMA, which is this blue color, this one right here. I guess I should show that on the five too. Yeah, I'll do that. Just in case you wanna know exactly where it is. That's where it is. All right. Um, the 15 simple, and that's the red one. Okay, 50 EMA, blue, and I missed one. Okay, 125, that is green, bam. EMA at the, at the close. Parabolic SARS, there was a green, uh, 0 0.02, and then 0 0.2 for the max. Bam, you can feel free to set it exactly like this. So if you do reach out to me and you're asking me questions, I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, and the second parabolic star is red. It's set to 0.11 on the step and 0.2 on the max, three pixel, and it's like a reddish orange looking color. And then we have our Bollinger Bands, which is default. Period of 20, deviation of two, shift zero, apply to close, style four, and it's green as well, bam. Okay, that is the main chart, and then we have the indicator window at the bottom black so we have a R side there that's set to 14 apply to close uh, style is four on the pixel count and then it's black and we have two levels generic levels 30 and 70 I have its true range that is like a doo doo green <laughs> set to 14 moving average this one right here, guys, sometimes when I'm in like a downtrend and that thing is coming from the top to the bottom, oh my God, I eat so good off of those cells. And like buys on the, on the buys, but mostly like I'm just so used to them on the cells that happens on the opposite end, but that's just me. All right, so set the 200, exponential, apply to close, black, two pixel, bam. And I have another RSI set to one, and this matters. All right, stop the video, take a look at it. I'm not gonna run through all of the numbers right now, 
Um, but if you don't get anything else, get those strong cells, the strong buys, the TP1 oversold sell, oversold buy. Everything else, if you don't want to put it, that's up to you. I choose to put them because I trade level to level, and sometimes I look down there and that helps me. The bottom window I really just use as confluence. All right, five EMA blue exponential apply to close and then we have an oscillator the stochastic oscillator all right default levels of 20 80 uh the k period is five d period is three slowing is three price field is low to high method simple main three pixel and then the signal signal is three pixel as well and these are the colors there you go okay Another moving average, eight, exponential, close, two, and pink. 13, exponential, close, two, and green. And one last one, 21. There you go, exponential, close, two, and some funky in between yellow and green. And there you have it, folks. Again, I will reiterate. If you are looking for a sale, start off. Most times I go with the trend of the actual, and I'll take off the Bollinger Band so you can see exactly what I'm talking about right now. Let me remove those for a second. Okay. All right. Let me find out I don't know how to remove stuff. Whoa. Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time on this. I was gonna remove it, I can't. Okay, here we go. There you go. I was in the wrong spot. All right, so let me briefly explain. If you're looking for a sell, typically I recommend going with the EMAs, okay? Especially if you're on a lower time frame. Go with the EMAs. However, if you're trading off of a higher time frame, make sure you are trading underneath the pars or trading over the pars. An example, trade should be here. I scalped off of all of that today. That is all I did. I did nothing more than that. Um, yesterday, I was mostly scalping off of this for the buys. Okay, I had sales in there, I definitely did, but but as if you're new to this strategy, I wouldn't recommend going against it. Go with it, okay? Um, look for those parabolic stars on a higher time frame. Set your 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 um, your trend lines and your horizontal zones. I trade level to level. I would have a thousand lines on here right now, but that's not what this video is about. So I did not mark up my chart to a T. Um, you do see that I have my trend line set right there <laughs> Look at me talking about these darn trades again. That's not what this video is for to back up. All right, I'm gonna back up Basically, you see your parabolic stars go with them. That's sales See them over here go with them. Those are buys now. I have those red horizontal the, the red uh, Vertical lines right here Pay attention to this. Although I was saying for the average person who's not used to this strategy, take sales. Now I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna show you something. Let's go to the five, that's probably easier for you to see. Within this five, what do you see? There was a time, and if I drop down to the one minute, it's definitely more that you can see. But this was straight up buys, right there. You know what I'm saying? One would have seen these and one in for the buys okay that's fine if you know what you're doing and right now guys it's opening bell look at here though but you could have ate off of this but that's something later to discuss bad juju bad juju bad juju that's not what we want okay this is cool This is cool. This is cool. 
this is I, but not really ideal. Once it started looking like this, I love that. This is cool. This is cool. All right. Short term stuff. This is cool. Get yourself in about three candles. I mean, three uh, parabolic stars and bam, you're good. Okay. And, you know, plenty more good examples or whatever. Let's come on back over here. Okay. <sighs> now, I'm going to tell you, price is going to come up here and hit this, this trend line that I set from earlier. But what would it do? What will it do right after that? Hmm. Let's see. Now, I looked up. If I'm going to trade off of the... One hour time frame. I'm definitely gonna pay attention to high time frames. Although this is a high time frame, I just see this really as it, it came down and it did its pullback. However, you gotta go up there and tap that. But if it busts through those parabolic soars, <laughs> I'm not looking for sales no more. I'm waiting for those parabolic soars to drop down to the bottom. And start giving me merge parabolic soars, and at that point, I'll be looking for buys. Now, do I think it is going to do all of that? Let's look at the four hour. All right, now this is where I add back in my Bollinger Bands because what I'm looking at, since I'm looking at the higher time frames, my parabolic soars then came to my center line on the four hour, and on the daily, they're still all the way down here, meaning that we're still in the uptrend. Okay, this is an uptrend. Overall, this is an uptrend. Pullback, uptrend. Okay, let's look at the weekly since we're we're on the chart that we're on. Okay, so I think price may come all the way up to this. That top of uh, that blue trend line right there. Because it's just a pullback. We do have merged parabolic stars here, but sometimes you just get a pullback. It may not go all the way through. We won't know that until it actually busts through and tells us if this is really an uptrend. But we all know pullbacks happen no matter how big of a time frame. And that line that I was pointing out was this line right here. Price can go all the way up there. Okay? Because, like I said, one would think that this was just going to hit that and tap um, tap it and go back down. We don't know yet. We pay attention and we look for a bearish or bullish setup. Okay, so we're on the one hour time frame. And look at that candle getting ready to bust through. Maybe it's going to bust through both. One is not enough. Okay, we need to see if it's going to bust through both. At that point, now it's time to start marking other levels. This is support and resistance. Okay, right there. Right there. Rejection, support. Rejection. You see that? Meaning, since it crossed this line, I'm now looking for opportunities to get it to here. And pay attention down here, guys. All right. Where we at? Oh, one minute time frame is... And this is what I was talking about with my 200, guys. We're in a buy. We are in a buy. Buy, 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 buy. I'm going in. I'm going in. Jesus, why I always got get why I always gotta get caught up like this here? <laughs> Damn. I'm going in. Now, there will be pullbacks. Why? Because all this hesitation right here. It may pull back down to here and then go up. But it's going up. Okay? And I just want to get a little love. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this right here to come and touch this TP1. I get excited about stuff like this here. Give me a huge push, baby. Don't come back down yet. I always get caught up, guys. I should not be doing this. I should be walking out the door. Mm, 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 mm. I done got caught up in the trade, y'all. <laughs> it's cool, though. I ain't worried about it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look what you got right there. We already at the oversold. I'm sorry. Is that that's the overbought? Yeah. Oversold. Oversold. 
overbought. My bad, guys. Overbought looking for sales. I gotta change that over there. Anywho, I ain't worried about that. Okay, that's gonna come down, tap like it's supposed to, then ride back up. <laughs> that's what it's gonna do, guys. We're not hopping out this um and draw down, but it's all good. I could have been a profit. Y'all saw that. You saw that, right? <laughs> all right. This is looking real good to me right now. Um, we're not worried about the pullback at all. At all. Because we know. Matter of fact, let me set my stuff. 348. I'm going to go with 06. 348. 06. Thank you, man. This is not a true reverse retrace. It's going back up, guys. Fret not. You know, I hear that in church before. Fret not your heart. All right. We're headed up. That's the bottom line. Okay. BBKOFers. I'm sorry. Not BBKOFers. KOF. Then we get caught up. And for the people that are in the Telegram group, most of you know about KOF strategy. You'd be selling back, hoping for uh, the price to come back to the, the five or the nine. And which you, you would have been all right a little bit. But if you held that thing, hoping that it drops, that's when you will be messed up because you be putting in more sales, more sales, more sales. And no, that's not what we want. But anywho, look like the uh, retracement has come back to our rejected level of that uh, support this resistance this resistance and from here it should be taken off unless it's going to drop down to this rejection level okay we're still in drawdown but we're not worried about that how did i get caught up this is when you know you love to trade you know some people say if you just trading just to make money da 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 what are you trading for what is your passion shut up some people just I know me, I like a challenge. Even if I didn't make a dime, because I already make money doing other things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the challenge that, that trading gives me. You know what I'm saying? Find your passion, whatever that may be. But I like, I, I, <laughs> I need stuff like this in my life, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever fits your personality. Scalping fits mine. Um, if I run into intraday trading, that's great too. If I run into swing, that's great too. As long as I can handle my drawdown that I am dealing with. And I can. Okay. Let's go. This is a great sign. Let's hold this my brush. 5 MA riding behind price. We're still in the 5 minute time frame. But the 5 minute is riding behind price. And so is this uh, outer Bollinger Band. Now, once that Bollinger Band starts to get uh, get uh, in front of the price, and this 5 VMA starts to curve out, that goes outside of price, and price still here. Okay, price is getting ready to turn around on you. Be careful. <laughs> but it's that, but but right now, that's not where we are. I'm so excited. Okay. Um. Now let's look. Okay. Drawdown is getting better. Somebody asked me yesterday, hey, do you try to trade the opening bell? I do. I do. Not purposely to trade it, but if I see a setup, definitely. If I can capitalize off of the opportunity, definitely. And that's what I saw right now. And I gained that courage from this bad puppy right here. Okay. I gotta go so I want to stay in I needed to hit that so I can run and walk away. walk away come on and sometimes go ahead and just take the profit guys because your horizontal line may not be set to a T but that's why I got my my take profit a little bit earlier than that I could put in another buy right now and ride it to that and secure my profit but I just want to do a one and done and be cool with that. So let me drop down and see how good I am about that. All right. We're almost there. So I might want to take my profit. Just walk away. Don't be greedy. 
but you know we get a little greedy sometimes. Don't be greedy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it. Or am I? I need to take it. Y'all know how we do. Stop playing. Don't judge me. Judge your who? I ain't gonna do that on here. On what? No, I ain't gonna do that either. <laughs> Yeah, some people know those sayings, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do all that. This is what I was talking about, guys. These confluences down here. I love my little 200 when that thing be riding. I was just telling y'all how I love it in the sale, but I love that bad baby in a um, in a buy too. All right, we were just at 15. Am I gonna hold it? Am I gonna hold it? Let's see. Where is now? Where my Bollinger Band go? I need that. Critical, critical. That's what I was talking about, guys. Look at the freaking. Let me go ahead and take my jumping line. But look at. This is what I was talking about, and I'm gonna end it. This started coming in front of the price. Okay. And this will end up curving out. We're not quite there yet. I think it's still gonna tap the zone that I said. But that's what that's what happens, guys. Um, every last one of these indicators on this chart can help you make money. It gives you clues. Back test, back test, back test, and figure out what that is. This is what we would have considered for people that was watching two par BBK off before the clockwork. They would have sold back real quick, and then they would have waited for price to come back, and then just kind of touch along the line, and then it would have came and did a little reversal. And that would happen really based off of the 30 right here that's when it'll start to retrace a little bit but anywho that is my time um much love to everybody P please like comment share subscribe if you have not take the time to, to subscribe please if this takes away my time for me trading um or doing other things so i need your help i need your love Anywho, if you need any help, please follow me on Telegram. I'm there to answer any questions that you may have. Um, occasionally, I'll do Zooms. Um, but yeah, just link up with me. Y'all, take care. I'm out. Peace.